In this video, we're going to look at what are called prime and composite numbers. A prime number is simply a number that is only divisible by 1 and itself. For example, the number 2 is a prime number because it's only divisible by 2 and 1. Some other prime numbers are 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19. Notice all of these numbers are only divisible by 1 and itself. A composite number is divisible by more than just 1 and itself. You could say it's divisible by 3 or more numbers, when prime numbers are only divisible by 2 numbers. An example of a composite number would be 24. 24 is composite because it's not just divisible by 1 and 24, it's also divisible by 2, by 3, by 4, by 6, by 8, by 12, lots of options. That's a composite number. To check if a number is prime or composite, at least if it's under 100, is we will use our divisibility test. Divisibility test. Remember, though, we didn't have a divisibility test for 7 and 8, so we want to make sure we also check 7 and 8. So let's see if we can test a couple numbers that are under 100 and see if they're prime or composite. This first number we want to look at is 47. Everything's divisible by 1, but that's okay with prime numbers. Is it divisible by 2? Well, the last digit's not divisible by 2, so the whole thing isn't. How about 3? If we add the digits together, 4 plus 7 is 11. Doesn't pass the test for 3. To test for 4, we divide 4 into the last two digits, but you'll notice 4 does not go into 47 because there's a remainder. Whoops. If I can do my long division correctly. a remainder of 3. So we might try 5, but 5 doesn't work because the last digit is a 7. 6 doesn't work because 2 and 3 didn't work. What about 7? Does 7 go into 47? Nope. We'll still have a remainder when we do this. What about 8? Does 8 go into 47? Nope. We'll still have a remainder when we divide by 8. Does 9 go into 47? It does not, because when we add the digits together, we got 11. 10 doesn't either. Because it failed all the divisibility test, we will say this number is a prime number. Nothing divides into it except for 1 and itself. Let's try the number 91. We know it's not divisible by 2 because the last digit's an odd number. To test if it's divisible by 3, we add the digits and get 10, which we can't divide by 3. We could test if it's divisible by 4 by taking 4 into the last two digits, but we'll see that when we do this, we still end up with a remainder. Oops, a remainder of 2. 5 doesn't go in because the last digit's a 1. 6 doesn't divide in because it did not pass the test for 2 and 3. How about 7? Seven? 7 goes into 91. Well, 7 goes into 9 once, leaving behind 21. And 7 goes into 21 three times, leaving behind 0. No remainder. Because 7 divided into 91 evenly, we would say this is a composite number. It's divisible by more than just 1 and itself.